Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of April. Okay, so let's see what's coming out here. I have the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles Reverse, the Lovers Reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, the Moon Reverse, the King of Pentacles, Temperance, Strength. Okay, so pretty good cards overall. Um, let me see here. <clears throat> okay, so the first energy that is coming in is um, there's something coming in from the past, and uh, we have the Knight of Swords. It's something that you have to deal with, and um, the Knight of Swords is charging backwards into a previous time in which, you know, the problem ar arose, and um, it was never properly dealt with, or it was basically... Um, the other person never got to say their piece, either the other person never, you know, found closure, or you never were able to give that person in the past a piece of your mind. So an opportunity is coming in here and you're charging forward and you're you're trying to tell that person as it is. And um, the energy here is very, it's coming in very strongly and very quickly, like towards um, the beginning of this month and I feel that for the first uh, week as well you might be able to find a resolution within this issue from the past if you take a very uh, grounded and a very methodical approach okay so don't rush in too fast because um, you're operating on from a place of pure instinct and pure like um, I guess it's like self-preservation so you're you're rushing into this a little too hot-headedly and it might backfire on you. And I do feel that um, for most of you, this might be like a former lover that you've dealt with in the past. It could be somebody within your household or somebody you used to live with. So it's someone who, who you once had a, a very close, a very connected interpersonal relationship with, okay? Um, the only thing I would say is you do have the moon card in the reverse position here. It indicates that in the past you were never able to deal with this issue mainly because you didn't have all the information. And timing itself, the moon is a big card for timing as well. And um, this indicates not just like a karmic time, but rather like cosmic time. So the differences between the two is uh, indicative of, you know, sometimes the right healing has to take place or the right amount of detachment from that situation or from that person has to take place in order for the other person and for yourself to gain enough clarity and enough, um, I guess, to ground yourself enough so that you can approach the situation in a different way so that you can detach yourself and look at the situation with a little more objectivity. Okay, with the Knight of Swords, um, Sword court cards indicate uh, somebody who is very um, who is very level-headed. It is somebody who is very methodical as well. As a knight energy, though, um, they might be too methodical to a fault. They might say, you know, the the things that they need to say or that they need to get off their chest without um, too much like thoughts to how the other person would react and you know it's in the spirit of getting at the truth but in a very um, in a very blunt and in in a somewhat hurtful insensitive type of way all right you are an air sign so I believe if this is um, somebody that you're dealing with um, basically you know old problems are being dragged back in like being like dug up from the past and you're going to have to deal with it and I don't feel that the energy is going to permeate throughout the rest of this month mainly because um, it's coming in so early on in this month that it's going to be dealt with and then you move on and a lot of the other cards here indicate that um, you will have a lot of success moving on and you will have a lot better energy like coming in for the rest of this month so um, take the first few days of the month and, you know, try to approach this in a very rational manner. The only thing that I could say is um, you're finally getting that chance to, um, to appease your mind because you're able to express yourself in a way to the other person or, that, uh, or about that other situation from the past so that you can finally find closure and move forward. Um, as a result of this, I do feel that, you know, if it is a family relationship or a, uh, a lover or like a business partner even, I do feel that there are going to be 
very profound, very fundamental changes within the dynamic of that situation. So moving forward, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. For those of you who have dealt with the situation in the past, you're going to decide that you know it's not worth it and you're moving forward. Um, for a lot of you though, what I do see is um, it's like um, it's sort of like a huge, I guess like bump in the road in order for you to repair this relationship or this friendship or business partnership. So for a lot of you though, I do feel that um, the other person is promising you that they are willing to put in the effort to repair the situation. Um, as for what you decide to do, I do feel that um, you're going to tell them that um, in order to do that, they're going to have to prove themselves. Okay, so they're going to, it's, you, you're not putting up with the lip service anymore. You do want to see concrete evidence that they're willing to put the work in. Especially for um, female Sagittarius, I do feel that, you know, if this is a romantic partner, especially from the past, and you're dealing with a, um, a male partner, I do feel that um, he is willing to put in the work and he's willing to show you that, you know, um, He's, he's all action this time, so I would say this person is genuine and you know you can't take them back. If you are a uh, male Sagittarius and or you know you are a Sagittarius that is not dealing with a male partner, what I would say is um, I see very strongly that um, you're the one that has to put in a lot of the effort here and you're going to be very well received though and you're doing it not out of a sense of like personal responsibility or anything but you feel that you know this is um, this is you feel how beneficial it is to fully invest the time and to invest the actions into sustaining this relationship so what I do sense is in general it's one it's going to be um, kind of like an agreement between both parties in which, you know, we do this all the way or we don't do it at all. So all or nothing at this point. And for those of you, it's sort of like, um, if it's a family situation, it's sort of like, okay, let's just give it one last shot. You know, we've exhausted all possibilities in the past. So the reasonable thing to do is to give it our all so that we can move forward from this and just not never have to look back. Okay, so I do feel like in general, the first week of this month is going to be a very like um, rewarding. I would say a lot of information will come to light and you would be able to find resolution. At least, you know, both of you are coming, both parties um, are coming to the same conclusion that, you know, there needs to be some work in order to maintain this relationship because the way things have been going are not um, to anybody's benefit. So there is a sense of resolution, there is a sense of camaraderie, and you know, like what I do sense here, with the lovers in the reverse position, it might indicate a relationship, if it's a romantic relationship, it might be a relationship that transcends just the physical aspect of it, which is really good, because you have uh, temperance under underneath, excuse me. So it indicates to me that, you know, this uh, relationship itself is growing in emotional depth. So it's not just the physicality of the relationship or the physical chemistry anymore. Um, both parties have decided, you know, that um, it is time to be exclusive If for those of you who are, you know, in that relationship. And for those of you who are still dating or just, you know, um, trying to, I guess, find a middle ground and trying to figure out what qualities that uh, you really want in a potential partner. I feel that a lot of the information is, um, a lot of the information right now, you, it, it's time to make decisions. It's time to really narrow down on what it is that you really want moving forward from the people you're interacting with. If you don't want to see them anymore, if you want to be exclusive, and what qualities it is that makes you, you know, um, wanting a long-term stable relationship. For those of you who might be dealing with a business partner or a family member, the same energy t uh, applies. So there's going to be a hashing out of differences. And um, I do feel that, you know, a lot of things are just being thrown out, like all this deep buried um, emotional baggage from the past are being just coming to light and they're just like glaring. And um, it's going to take a lot of maturity, which I feel, you know, towards the end of this month, 
this energy here is um, it's very stable and it would suggest that both sides are trying to really work this out find a resolution and leave the past behind for good so overall um, I would say you know just um, this is a very mature way of handling it and I do suggest that um, for those of you who you know this information is coming to light now really try to work at it okay don't abandon things because I feel that um, it is kind of like a last shot type of deal so invest your all into it and I feel that the partner will reciprocate as well okay um, let me see so let's look at the second uh, row here and you have really, really good energies. The moon in the reverse position is um, a little more objectivity. So this is a very good card to get in reverse because the moon in the upright position indicates like intuition. And you know, following your intuition is good. Granted that um, you have very keen insights and very sharp intuition. However, when it comes to people that uh, you know are unhealthy for you or things in your life that you know you should, um, you have a, a a penchant for that are not conducive to your own growth and development it's good to have this card in the reverse because um, you're a little more objective about the situation you're able to be a little more analytical and you're seeing the long-term ramifications if you were to cling on to these unhealthy behaviors you know that in the long run how your life would plan out so with the temperance card here it is the card of Sagittarius and um, Sagittarius in general have a very um, I guess like a expansive view they do see the big picture well you guys do tend to see the big picture so you're letting go of a lot of old habits and old ways of behaving and you're cutting out people from your past as well mainly because you know that in the long run it is much better for you so I do feel here that um, there is a little bit of um, I guess like um, I wouldn't say soul searching because I feel at this point that starting with the beginning of the month you already know what you have to do but um, looking at the bigger picture allows you to um, really plan out for the future what it is that you should invite into your life so that you can have a better more fulfilling future for yourself okay so um, it's sort of like a process in which you know you weed out things from the past and then moving forward into the future you're going to be more discriminate in your screening process to allow the right things to come into your life and to weed out the wrong things that might potentially try to come in so that is a really very mature way of looking at this and also like um, dealing with life in general which is um I feel like a lot more peace and confidence uh, for for you Sagittarius with the king of pentacles in the reverse position too um, I do sense that uh, for those of you especially in a romantic partnership with a an earth sign a um, Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus a lot of you are getting the support that you need from this earth sign and for those of you who are dealing with this person as a family um, as a family um, relationship or as a business partnership I feel that in general this person will give you a lot of good insights about how to address issues within the family and issues within your interpersonal relationship okay so um, this is a man full of wisdom but um, he doesn't impose his wisdom on other people he or she he or she does not impose their wisdom on other people they they sit back and when the time is right when you want to come to them for advice or when you need their help they're always there so they're very very reliable and I do see this is a very stabilizing presence in your life so this is a very positive energy to get into your life and especially um, for others who might be dealing with a Pisces in your past or um, one of your relationships might be uh, with a Pisces a, a, a problematic relationship that you've had with a Pisces I would say that um, the main thing is draw cl very clear boundaries with this person because I do feel that they're lacking a little bit of um, of a sense of identity so they don't know where they end and others begin so they might like um, overimpose themselves 
and they might basically um, they they try to impose their values and their beliefs onto people you love or any type of a relationship that you have in your life there might be times in which you feel you want to to uh, impose yourself on other people or you want to tell to give advice when the other person never asked for it and you want to um, you see what they're doing wrong and you kind of want to take control because you feel that they're doing wrong and that they're heading down the wrong path but at the same time it is not your place mainly because it is the other person's life and you have to learn to respect their decisions okay so a lot about growing up is just maintaining healthy boundaries between yourself and others and I do see this theme is greatly reinforced in this reading so with loved ones um, try to do that with family members for those of you who are watching this with children especially I do sense like um, parents and, and children type of relationships in which the if you're a Sagittarius with children try to really let your child uh, or your kids um, grow into themselves it's good for you to give them guidance okay but um, take a very I wouldn't say you know don't succumb to child neglect or anything like that but um, you do have to take a back seat and let your child grow into his or her own and make decisions for his or herself because um, what I do sense here is a tendency to to over assert yourself in situations in which it's um, at least you know find some, you're finding a lot of peace and a lot of nurturing in your environment and with the people around you so I know that the past few months have been difficult so this is the first month in which you can sit back and you don't have to worry so much that things will go wrong because um, in general you have like a better a more peaceful frame of mind and you're able to forge ahead with a lot more clarity and a lot more wisdom in general so I hope you have a great April and I will try very very hard to come back next Sunday with uh, the weekly readings thanks so much for watching I'll talk to you next week